Hello there. Time for another beer review. At least for me. I mean, I've had me craving a little bit of rest uh, throughout the week. And I've actually been planning on doing something uh, which I bought. It's a beer that uh, I haven't had in a long while, but I used to love it. I absolutely loved it. And uh, But instead, I figured uh, I changed my mind. And because it's so nasty outside, it's been snowing all day yesterday, and uh, today it's been melting, and uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to all freeze at night. It's been slushy and just disgusting. So I, I figured I need some sort of a winter warmer. And uh, here we have McEwan's Scotch Ale from Scotland, from uh, Buden, Edinburgh, Scotland. Uh, I, I just bought one of these, and I would actually never consider something like this. Um, I just, I was kind of cautious until I saw Al Halak's uh, beer review here on YouTube, and uh, in which he said that uh, some people might not like this at all, but some people might uh, like it a lot. And I've actually seen quite a few people at the liquor store buying this stuff in six packs, so I uh, figured that indicates something, you know. And uh, so yeah, it's 8% alcohol by volume, it's a small uh, 350, uh, 355 ml bottle, um, comes from Edinburgh as I've said. This particular style, is, uh, I think it, it was born in the 19th century in Scotland, and it's uh, sort of a winter style, but it's uh, sold throughout the year, at least here in um, Montreal. Uh, in any case, this is labeled malt liquor for some reason, I guess this is for the US market don't really understand uh, the whole labeling thing, if, to be honest with you. Uh, there's nothing really on the bottle that says or provides any description of the beer, uh, so I guess we we'll just will have to uh, take the chance, you know. So I'm going to open this one up. The cap, uh, this is a red cap, it just says McEwen. For the glass, um, don't really have a proper sniff tower like a barley wine glass, so I just uh, figured I'll use this one. This is a weird glass. Uh, it's, it's for Newcastle Brown Ale, it fits like a bottle, but the thing is that uh, this is something really uh, strange for Newcastle, you know. I have a pint glass for Newcastle, which is something you'd expect a new Newcastle beer to be served in, but I don't know. But I got this sort of as an official glass, so um, let's pour this one in. Hmm, quite carbonated, didn't expect that. So we were able to get a pretty nice frothy head. Yeah, this is quite nice and it smells, I, I can actually smell the scent already. Um, the head uh, looks like it's going to dissipate in a few moments. So, for the colour, it's a sort of a really dark brown with, um, it's, it's not a opaque kind of colour, you can actually see through a bit and then uh, you get sort of a red uh, colour as well so it's sort of a brown, like a dark deep mahogany colour I can actually smell some sort of a cherry scent but I'll get to uh, smelling right, right away just to get a fuller mm, idea of this thing so you can definitely smell the alcohol quite a bit um, so yeah, malts, cherries, I think uh, just a hint of licorice, but it's a very complex um, scent, it's, I mean, which is only logical for the stronger type of beers, and uh, I don't know if I mentioned, uh, the Scotch Ale is also known as We Heavy uh, in some parts of the world. So yeah, as you can see the head's coming down, but it's still a nice a finger thick head. So I'm gonna take a s I mean, take a taste. Mm hmm. I can already say that I quite like this. I'm enjoying this. Um Thanks a lot, uh, thanks a lot, El Halak, for the review, which sort of triggered me to um, buying this stuff. I'm actually liking this a lot. So for the taste, the cherry sort of a component, it's um, prevalent in the taste as well, just as it was in the smell. Mm, it's very malty, uh, very 
a very kind of thick flavor. I mean, the, the mouth feels kind of thick. But I, I would prefer this over the sort of a Belgian uh, strong um, dark, like dark ales, because it doesn't, um, it was just a few sips, right? But I didn't really feel the alcohol that much. I mean, it could have been just a sort of 5% beer. But it's much uh, rich in flavor. Very complex. It starts out quite sweet, and overall is quite sweet as well, and uh, sort of a bit of a bitter finish. But it's really, really nice, and um, uh, it's a really good warmer. I just came back home, and you know, I've been uh, it's been disgusting outside, as I've said. So for now, I'll I'll come back to this obviously. For now, this is a really, really good bit. I mean, this is I'm quite impressed to to say the least. I'm going to give this about uh, 8.5, I don't even know, 8.5 for now. It's quite good, so I'll come back to this after having most of it. Uh, so I'm back. Well, I, I, I'm really impressed with this beer, actually, uh, with this Scotch Ale. Uh, El Halak in his reviews, as far as I can remember, he said that um, it tastes kind of like cough syrup. Um, yeah, I guess partially this is true, but it doesn't really set me off. Um, because the, the mouth feels so complex, and uh, the only the only sort of n negative side is that uh, as you drink more of it, um, the aftertaste becomes a bit, um, you know, the alcohol becomes a bit more pronounced. But at the same time, overall, the alcohol uh, content is quite well disguised in this beer. So you can definitely have a few of these without sort of feeling. I mean, if it was a Chimay or something like that, like 10% or 9% or anything, um, a really strong Belgian ale, let's say. Um, from like Personally, I wouldn't have more than a glass, maybe two glasses, but then I'd be, oh, I'd just be a bit, you know, hammered. But with this beer, it's quite different. Um, it certainly is a nice, nice winter warmer. Uh, so I guess the occasion is just perfect, you know, perfect fitting occasion for now. I mean, I couldn't wish for better at this moment. Um, just I, I came back home recently and uh, oh, it's been quite cold. And so for the rating, uh, I don't really know what to give this beer because I'm so impressed. I don't want to give it too high of a grade because uh, you know I haven't really given out many high grades so far in my reviews. So I give this about 8.6, just solid sort of A, and. Um, it's a pretty much a recommendation for for people who like multi beers, for people who like uh, stronger beers and ales. And uh, the the good things about it, as I said, the complex flavor, the head doesn't really fully dissipate. Having having had all the lagers in my reviews, and uh, you know observing the head pretty much going like disappearing completely. This is something you still get, so a millimetre head going on, and it's been a while now, it's still there. Uh, kind of adds to the visual experience. So, to wrap this up, my q uh Scotch Ale, uh, 8.6 out of 10. Uh, great beer, uh, if, if you like this kind of stuff, multi and uh, complex. I mean, it's something that I wouldn't have in the summer, probably, but it's sold throughout the year here, and, um, you know, Try this out if you, if you have access to it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you.